Allstays Pro uses full screen maps. We want the option for the most amount of data to be shown on your screen. It starts with a heat map since we are starting with over 90,000 map points. Then as you scroll in or filter, they turn into clusters and then the points start to show. In the upper left, we can zoom in and zoom out with the buttons. We can use the magnifying glass to type in the city. We can use the land layer to change. Satellite. We could add a traffic layer. We can do outdoors. We can put trails on the map. And we can do land status. Tapping on any map point brings up the detail view about the place. We have the name, the address, the GPS coordinates, a phone number you can tap to call. We have handwritten text directions for big rigs with exit information, roads you should take, maybe extra information about registering as in this case. Then we have GPS based weather, the official website, an update info button allows you to send in corrections, comments, or reports about any point. We have the average user rating followed by a button to read or add your own review. Then we have a button that will search major travel websites for their reviews about this location. The photo option feeds the name of the place into a Google image search. This may or may not be precise, but you can adjust the search text once over on Google. Then we will have an online booking link right here if it's available. Next is a full details about the place, all the amenities and so on. And finally, we have navigation options. You can send over to any of your other favorite map systems. These will open the actual apps if you are using Pro on a mobile device. On the upper right, we have some more buttons. If you are zoomed in enough, you will see this download button. We'll tap that and you will see all the points change to a white highlight around them. This grabs all the details about the points in the current map view and stores them in your local browser cache. This means you can tap a point later when you have poor or no service and the data is already there. It'll come up nice and fast, even without service. Leave that browser tab open or even set up multiple browser tabs. Grab the details when you have good service and then it works better in more remote places later on. Then we have the location arrow to ask the web browser for your location. This may not be precise on Wi-Fi or on secure networks. A phone or cellular possible tablet will have precise location. The X button exits the map system. The flashlight funnel icon shows the filter menu. This is where all the power of all stays lies. You can select by type. You can turn entire categories on and off. You can filter by amenities and other options below, which are covered in other videos as well. At the very top is the dashboard option. This changes the overall map data type. Everything is the biggest and has everything. Selecting any other dashboard and the data and filters change and become more specific for the type of data on the map. Selecting the rest area will give you rest filters. Walmart parking one will give you Walmart specific filters. If you just want camping only, that will show just the campgrounds and the camping related filters. For daytime, you might want the truck stops and rest areas and bridges and steep grades. And then the filters will be specific for those as well. So that is a quick run through of the basic screen and the buttons. There are many more videos that go into detail about each one of those.